everybody myself dr vishwa rajlal faculty of biotechnology jamshedpur women's college jamshedpur we'll discuss about growth promoting bacteria in plants in this we will discuss introductions biological nitrogen fixations mechanisms of nitrogen fixations genetic manipulations for nitrogen fixation genetic engineering of hydrogenase genes genetic engineering of nodulations genes and symbiotic nitrogen fixation bacteria along with the host plants tables so we start first introductions certain beneficial microorganisms present in the soil are known to influence the plant growth development and yield this bacteria and fungi may provide growth promoting products to plants or inhibiting the growth of soil pathogenic microorganisms means phytopathogens which hinder the growth a plant growth the former is the direct effects while the latter is the indirect effect of growth promoting bacteria in plants the growth promoting activity of microorganisms and the biotechnology approaches are described with respect to the following aspects first biological nitrogen fixation second biocontrol of phytopathogens and third biofertilizers in this uh, part 1 uh, we will discuss only biological nitrogen fixation in part 2 we will discuss biocontrol of phy phytopathogens and biofertilizers so starting biological nitrogen fixations nitrogen is an essential element of many bio molecules the most important being nucleic acid and amino acids although nitrogen is the most abundant gas about 80% in the atmosphere neither animals nor plants can use this nitrogen to synthesize biological compound however there are certain microorganisms on which the living plants and animals are dependent to bring nitrogen into their biological systems the phenomena of fixation of atmospheric nitrogen by microorganisms is known as diazotrophy and these organisms are collectively referred to as diazotrophs diazotrophs are biological nitrogen fixer and are prokaryotic in nature next we come to a uh, nitrogen cycles in biological nitrogen fixation we start nitrogen cycles nitrogen enters the soil with the deposits of dead animals and plants and urea of urine this waste materials proteins urea are decomposed by soil bacteria into ammonia and other products the ammonia is converted to nitrite no2 and then nitrate no3 by certain bacteria belonging to the gen genera nitrosomonas and nitrobacter the nitrate is degraded by various microorganisms to release nitrogen that enters atmosphere this atmospheric nitrogen is taken up by the nitrogen fixing bacteria present on the roots of leguminous plants and used for the synthesis of biomolecules example amino acids as the animal consumes the leguminous plant as food the nitrogen cycle is complete next we come to a nitrogen fixing bacteria it is estimated that about 50% of the nitrogen needed by the plant comes from nitrogen fixing bacteria these are two types of nitrogen fixing microorganism asymbiotic and symbiotic next asymbiotic nitrogen fixing microorganisms the gaseous nitrogen of the atmosphere is directly and independently utilized to produce nitrogen rich compounds when this non symbiotic organisms die they enrich the soil with nitrogenous compounds several species of bacteria and fungi can do this job example clostridium pasturium azotobacter crococcum the mechanisms of nitrogen fixation by asymbiotic bacteria is not clearly understood it is believed that nitrogen is first converted to hydro 
ऑक्सीज एमाइन और एमोनियम नाइट्रेट एंड देन इनकॉपरेटेड इन टू बायो मॉलिक्यूल्स नेक्स्ट वी कम टू अम्बायोटिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेजम दिस माइक्रो ऑर्गेजम लिव टूगेदर विद द प्लांट्स इन अ म्यूचुअली बेनिफिशियल रिलेशनशिप फेनोमेना रेफर टू एज सिम्बायोसिस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेजम इन्वॉल्व इन सिम्बायोसिस बिलोंग टू टू रिलेटेड जेनर नेमली रेजोबियम एंड ब्रेडी रेजोबियम दिस सिम्बायोटिक बैक्टीरिया ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज नोड्यूल बैक्टीरिया आर ग्राम पॉजिटिव फ्लेजिलेटेड एंड रॉड सेप द होस्ट प्लांट्स हार्वेरिंग दिस बैक्टीरिया आर नोन एज लेग्यूम्स एग्जाम्पल सोयाबीन पीज बीन्स अल्फा अल्फा पीनट्स एसेट्रा इच of one of the species of rhizobium and brady rhizobium are specific for a limited number of plants which survive as the natural host it is now clearly known that this bacteria do not interact with plants other than the natural host the relationship between the symbiotic bacteria and the legumes is well or recognized on the roots of legumes there are a number of nodules in which rhizobium species thrive this bacteria trap atmospheric nitrogen and synthesize nitrogen rich compounds amino acids protein etc used by the legumes at the same time the legumes supply important nitrogen compounds for the metabolism of rhizobia the growth of legumes has been known to enrich the soil fertility this is due to the fact that the concentrations of nitrogen compound in the soil increase as a result of the presence of symbiotic bacteria for this reasons normally nitrogen fertilizers are not needed in the field cultivated legumes this is the some symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria along with the host plants bacterial species and host plants rhizobium leguminosum p broad bean rhizobium melilot t alfalfa rhizobium feredi soya bean rhizobium loti lotus rhizobium eliti moong bean kidney bean and bredi rhizobium japonicum soya bean and bredi rhizobium ilkani soybean next we come to a mechanisms of nitrogen fixation in this we will discuss nitrogenase lego legomoglobin and hydrogenase first inside the root nodules of legomineous plants the bacteria proliferate this bacteria exist in a form that has no cell wall the bacteria of the nodules are capable of fixing nitrogen by means of the specific enzyme namely nitrogenase nitrogenase is a complex enzyme containing two oxygen sensitive components components one has two alpha protein subunit and two beta protein subunit 24 molecules of iron two molecules of molybdenum and an iron molybdenum cofactor components to, to possess two alpha protein subunit and a large number of iron molecules component 1 of nitrogenase catalyze the actual conversions of nitrogen to ammonia while component 2 donates electrons to components 1 next legomoglobin a protein capable ca- comparable of hemoglobin in animals has been identified in the nodules of leguminous plant legomoglobin contains iron and is red in color it is an oxygen binding protein the hemi part of legomoglobin is synthesized by the bacterium while the protein portion is produced by the host plant legomoglobin is absolutely necessary for nitrogen fixation the nodules that lack leguminium 
are not capable of night fixing nitrogen it is lego legomin globin that facilitates the appropriate transfer of oxygen to the bacteria for respiration to produce atp and energy in the form of atp is absolutely required for nitrogen fixation another important function of legoglobin is that it prevent the damaging effects of direct exposure of oxygen or nitrogenase next hydrogenase during the course of nitrogen fixation by nitrogenase and undesirable reactions also occurs that is reduction of h plus to h2 hydrogen gas for the production of hydrogen atp is utilized rather wasted consequently the efficiency of nitrogen fixation is drastically lowered it is possible theoretically to reduce the energy wastage by recycling h2 to form h plus in fact some strains of ready rhizobium japonicum in soybean plants were found to use hydrogen as the energy source this strains were found to possess an enzyme namely hydrogenase it is advantageous for nitrogen fixation if the symbiotic bacteria possess the enzyme hydrogenase however the naturally occurring strain of rhizobium and brady rhizobium do not normally possess the gene encoding hydrogenase next we come to a genetic manipulation of nitrogen fixation in this the nitrogen fixing bacteria that are closely associated with the world's food supply are among the favored organisms for genetic manipulations it is absolutely necessary to identify isolate and characterize the nitrogen fixing genes nif gene to undertake any kind of genetic manipulations genetic complementation is the common technique used for the isolation nif genes the procedure basically involves the identifications and characterizations of clones from a wild type library to restore nitrogen fixation fixation in the various mutants of the original organisms so in diagrams so this is the an outline of the method for the isolation of nip genes from from klebsiella pneumonia by genetic complementations the wild type dna of klebsiella pneumonia was cut with restrictions endonucleus a clone bank was constructed with a vector and man maintain in e coli klebsiella pneumonia cells are exposed to a mutagenic agents this may result in the mutations of nip genes to form nip manus cells the nip manus klebsiella pneumonia cells are then conjugated with e coli cells carrying the clone bank on a vector the transformants of klebsiella pneumonia possessing nif plus phenotype can be selected by growing the cells on a minimal medium that does not contain fixed nitrogens the dna fragments the dna fragments in the plasmid that contains nif gene which complement nif manus mutations in klebsiella pneumonia can be isolated so dna of klebsiella pneumonia restriction endonucleus cut dna fragments come this is plasmid factors e coli clone banks next klebsiella pneumonia nif plus cells mutagenic agents klebsiella pneumonia nif manus cells then conjugate a grown on medium lacking nitrogens nif plus and nif manus klebsiella pneumonia transformants and nif genes isolate
then we come to a genetic engineering of hydrogenase genes in this first isolation of hydrogenase genes and second manipulation of up genes the hydrogenase is synthesized by hub genes hydrogen uptake genes which are not present in the naturally occurring rhizobial strains considerably variations have been identified in hydrogenase from different organisms there are different types of hydrogenase which usually contains subunit different genes code this subunit isolation of hydrogenase genes the technique of genetic complementations can be successfully employed for this isolation of hydrogenase hub genes in fact hub genes were first isolated from e coli by this approach later hub genes from b bejo bejonicum have also been isolated next manipulations of hub genes next manipulation of hub genes the hydrogenase hub genes have been introduced into rhizobium legomeno sorum this hub plus strains of bacteria when isolated into legumes required in higher nitrogen fixation next genetic engineering of nodulations genes in this isolation of nodulations genes and manipulation of node genes establishment of nodules on the roots of leguminous plants is a prerequisite for nitrogen fixation certain genes involved in nodulations namely node genes have been identified in rhizobium melitoti the technique of genetic complementations has been used to isolate node genes from rhizobium melitoti a large number of node genes about 20 node a node x have been identified in diazotropes the node genes are broadly divided into three groups first common genes second host specific gene and third regulatory genes the fixations of each one of the node genes in nodulations have not been clearly identified further many more new node genes are being discovered every year next manipulations of node genes the process of nodulations is complex through the participations of a large number of node genes besides various other factors concentrations of nutrients soil temperature light carbon dioxide concentration etc despite attempts by several workers no success have been reported to enhance the ability of rhizobium species for nodulations through genetic manipulation so this is overall about growth promoting bacteria in plants part 1 biological nitrogen fixation in next in uh, growth promoting bacteria in plants part 2 we will uh, continue about con bio control of phyto pathogens and bio fertilizers thank you